Okay, as promised, we said that in this video we're going to look at bearing and compass direction. Bearing and compass direction is just a different way of representing the direction of a vector. Let's have a look. Bearing is actually the direction or the angle that a vector makes with north. So if I had to go and measure the bearing of a vector, let's imagine any vector. Let's say we have this vector from here to there. Make it a bit thicker. Uh, there we go, that vector. Uh, and the arrowhead is very important. Okay, So this is where we start. And the arrowhead is where we end. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is draw north on the starting position. So we'll draw north right there. In other words, just a vertical line upwards, straight upwards. Oh, that's not straight. Straight upwards. There we go. This is going to be north. And all we need to do is measure this angle that is made with north that will be the bearing this will be the bearing so what you might have to do is just extend the arrow a little bit in order to use your uh, protractor so let's just extend our arrow a little bit from there onwards using your ruler and then we use our protractor to measure that angle. So let's put our protractor right there. And obviously, since we are measuring from north, the protractor has to be zero at this point. So I'm going to just turn it so that it's zero is pointing north. There we go. And now we can go and measure this angle that that it is making with north. So what are we seeing? Well, it looks to me so close as possible to 135. Okay, so that seems to be 135 degrees. So I can write it in and that is indeed the bearing of this vector. If I wanted the magnitude, I'll use my ruler to go and measure the magnitude of that vector. Okay, but I am happy with just showing you the bearing for now and I'm sure you understand that the bearing is the angle that it makes with north. The bearing can therefore have values that are greater than 180. That's when we have angles that are going or vectors that are going in this direction. That one will have a value that is more than 180 degrees and this one when it's coming close to north again would be even more than 270 as you can see here when we go past this it goes to 270 okay also important and I didn't know I mentioned this is that bearing is measured clockwise do you notice it's almost as if I'm measuring it from 12 o'clock okay from 12 o'clock and then I measure clockwise so it can go up to 360 okay so next up is compass direction